Bradley County 911. Uh, yeah, I need help here uh, right away. I've got somebody that's overdosed. I'll get help started that way. Appalachia has been hit hard by the opiate crisis. In our tri-state area alone, an average of 150 citizens overdose every month. While these numbers are beyond tragic, every member of our community faces the harsh reality that drug paraphernalia containing deadly diseases and chemicals are being found throughout our community. First responders armed with nothing more than rubber gloves and a pair of food tongs put their personal safety on the line to rid our community of this paraphernalia. The police department came here and asked us if we could find a solution to the problem. We just thought it was another project, but once we started looking into it more, we realized how serious of a, of a situation this was. With input from various community partners, we began designing a drug paraphernalia collector prototype. We drew our initial designs in our Autodesk and Vinar 3D design software and used 3D printers to produce working models. After much trial and error, we had a prototype that collected many types of paraphernalia. Local police officers tested the model, then made improvement suggestions based upon their real-world experiences. We again modified our design, which has led to our most effective prototype yet. And we're also trying to create like a database to help other communities communicate. And the database is going to be able to let the Ashland Health Department communicate with the Huntington uh, Health Department to let them know where needles are, crime rate. Like say if you're out in the park and you find a needle, you can go to this database and you can like say, hey, I found a needle in the park. And you can also look up like safe ways to pick it up. What heroin can do to you, how to pick up a needle safely. There's actually nothing out there that is like close to what we're doing. So once we do this, it could go worldwide. We just want to help out in our community and solve this issue. We just hope that we can help our community and be able to make Ashland and hopefully our nation a safer place.